I'm photographer David Dushman, and this is Vision is Better, a sometimes weekly podcast about the craft and art of photography. Welcome here. This is episode 51 of the Vision is Better show. I'm just back from Socorro Island in Mexico, several hundred kilometers off the southwest tip of the Baja Peninsula. And uh, as you can see from the images behind me, and in a moment, the images on your screen, uh, I'm going to reward you for being such faithful viewers and show you some of the worst GoPro video you've ever seen in your life, uh, along with some photographs. And uh, you can listen to the sultry sound of my voice as, uh, as you see that work. Uh, this is going to be a fairly short episode for which some of you will be grateful, but I wanted to concentrate on uh, one theme. Um, this week is the, this is the week of June 20th, 2016. As you're watching this, it is the seventh anniversary of craftandvision.com, uh, who are the proud sponsors of this vlog slash video podcast. Uh, and also, um, you know, my passion project and the company that I put so much time and energy into, uh, creating photographic educational resources for people such as yourself. Uh, and the reason I mention that is because we're having a big birthday sale. We have just put out the 16th, the latest, and I'm sorry to say, uh, the last edition of Photograph Magazine. And um, the reason I mention that is because one, it's free this week. And so I encourage you to go to craftandvision.com and download that copy. In fact, I encourage you to go all week. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to our newsletter. You can see a link for that in the top left corner of the Craft and Vision website, craftandvision.com. And uh, we will be giving some, um, some great things out this week. We will also be dramatically discounting some things. Um, anyway, the reason I bring all this up is because the article that I wrote in this last edition of this last issue of Photograph Magazine, I think is relevant to my experience in Socorro. I have spent two years uh, learning how to dive. Just before I left, I logged my 100th dive. I got my certification as a uh, Paddy Master Scuba Diver, which is uh, in some ways relatively meaningless uh, and yet was a milestone that was significant to me. And I went uh, to Socorro as a bucket list to photograph these giant oceanic mantas and the sharks that you'll also see uh, um, on the screen. Uh, as a bucket list, this was something I have longed to, to do and combine that uh, two years of training with th over 30 years of photography experience and my incredible expectations of this. And when I got there, it was so friggin hard it was such a challenge and i've been underwater with the cameras i knew that it would be a challenge i knew this would not be easy but i wanted to throw in the towel there were a couple times where i thought why am i doing this i knew why i was doing this i want to be part of the conversation about uh, the preservation of this planet specifically in the oceans where i think this conversation is going to happen and around the poles specifically in this case about sharks and mantas who i mean we kill a hundred million of these a year there's 10 percent um, of the historic rates of sharks in the ocean and as dr sylvia earl said who is a shark expert she says um, we should be worried if we get in the ocean and we don't see sharks. Sharks are so important. Anyway, that's the that's the uh, the sermon and the the longing that's behind all this. The reason I'm bringing this up again is because the article I wrote was about surrender, and I think no matter where you go, no matter what you're photographing, you are going to hit a point where your vision for the thing that you're photographing and for the experience that you're having, whether it's a person, whether it's a wedding that you're photographing, whatever it is, hopefully you are, this is important enough to you that your vision will outpace your ability to capture that or to express that vision. And that's where it gets frustrating. That's where the, the 45 degree line that I've written about in the past, when I, when I talk about you know, everything under that 45 degree line is uh, is fairly easy for us. That 45 degree line, if we ride that line exactly, kind of represents an artistic plateau where our, uh, our craft and our vision exactly align. It's living above that 45. It's pushing yourself and challenging yourself. And if you're, you're not finding yourself frustrated at times, I know I talk about getting frustrated. I know uh, at one point someone told me my, my angst exhausted them. And 
And I think it's important that you get to the point of frustration. I think it's important that uh, this is that matters enough to you that you are frustrated, and because that frustration pushes you, it's above that forty-five degree line where the magic happens. It doesn't always happen. It's also above that forty-five degree line where risk happens, where failure happens. It's where we learn from the failures, and that pushes us even further. But I want to encourage you to push through the frustration to not throw in the towel whatever it is that you're doing because therein uh, lies the magic it's in surrender uh, because I think again when we go to these places we go with such expectation and expectation as I've talked about before can kind of put blinders on us um, of course you need expectation, but I think you need to recognize what they are and I think you need to hold them with a fairly open hand. I've talked about that before, but I want to encourage you again to be wary of those expectations and at a certain point to surrender yourself and your vision to what you see in front of you rather than what you expect because our expectations sometimes creates in us the, um, the hope that we will get this photograph and this photograph and this photograph um, and blinds us to, in fact, what's there and the possibility of instead making photographs like the ones you see on the screen behind me, not photographs I had uh, remotely in my mind. You'll see some of the work that I, I had expected to come up with. I wanted to photograph black and white. I got some beautiful color images as well, but all of the work that I did came only after I surrendered myself to what was rather than what I had hoped for and what I expected and allowed myself uh, to relax into that, uh, not to get overly zen about it, but I, I do think there is a point at which when you whew, let yourself go into the process, into the experience that you're having and make the experience the first thing, because I've said, again, as I've said before, you cannot photograph something that you haven't experienced and you can't photograph deeply something that you haven't Photo, uh, that you haven't experienced deeply, that you haven't felt something for deeply. And with those deep feelings is going to come frustration when it doesn't go exactly as planned. Hold that frustration loosely because it's a thing you have to push through, not get around. You have to push through it in order to get to the point where um, you're beginning to align your ability to express your vision, your craft, uh, and the vision itself. So. Uh, my encouragement to you, and this is becoming a little longer than I expected, my encouragement to you is to embrace some of that stuff, to live above the 45, to push yourself, to know that if you're pushing yourself, the frustration will come even faster and harder and probably more intensely, and you're going to have to push even harder to get through it. But that's where the magic happens. That's where the learning happens. That's where you see the biggest uh, leaps in your photographic craft and the biggest... Um, uh, the biggest leaps in your approach to aligning your craft and your vision. I encourage you to go to craftandvision.com this week. Check out the great deals. Make sure you're on the mailing list because some of those deals are only going to be there uh, to those of you who are on the mailing list already. This week, Photograph 16, the magazine, the last uh, and latest issue is yours for free if you'll go and if you wouldn't mind telling others about it if you're on Facebook and Twitter and that sort of thing. Tell others about it. Let them avail yourselves uh, avail themselves of the magazine as well. There's some beautiful work in it, some great interviews, some solid articles, and um, what the future holds, I'm not exactly sure. This is something that I have had to submit to and realize that uh, it has run its course, this particular phase of, um, of what we're creating. And uh, But nevertheless, we will be here in a new form. We're coming up with a Craft and Vision blog that we hope will encourage some interaction. And um, we're hoping to wrap in, loop in some of you on um, Instagram so that we can begin profiling some of our Craft and Vision readers and begin dialoguing with you because our tagline for the love of the photograph is not just for the love of random photographs. It's uh, and not just for the love of the photographs of the masters. It's uh, for the love of your photographs. And we believe in your creative process and are truly honored and uh, full of gratitude for you allowing to, us to be a part of that journey. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Take care.